everyone, it's been a while since I've done an episode of Teapot Tales, but here I am back with episode 2! First of all, I would like to say a really, really big thank you to everyone who has supported the channel. I am super, super happy we reached 13,000 subscribers and I can't thank you enough! I can't wait to make more videos in the future and I really hope that you enjoy them all! Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video about how to increase your trust rank for the Serena Teapot. Okay, so right now I am in my Serena teapot. The realm is Emerald Peak and I created this Lua inspired building slash tea house. It's really pretty at night and also looks really nice in the daytime. If you want a tour of that, I will definitely make one and I can make a tour of my silken courtyard teapot as well. Your trust rank is really important if you are trying to farm in the Serena teapot. If you are AR 35 and above and completed the Archon quest where you have to fight child, then you will be able to unlock your Serena teapot and find it in the events. You will have to do a quest to unlock it, but I think it is worth it. When you first unlock your teapot, you get the choice between different realms. You have the floating abode, emerald peak, or the cool isle. You will get to view each teapot by clicking the view icon and you will see a quick thumbnail of it. I chose floating abode to be my first one and it is the teapot that I use to farm in, not really to create. That's why the adeptal energy, which is located right here, is the highest because it's where I farm the most. I unlocked Silken Courtyard for the last one, and this can be unlocked through the Sacred Sakura Tree. I am currently in this one, which is Emerald Peak, like I said before, but you can also choose Cool Isle, which is Mondstadt themed, and you also get the Mondstadt Main House. When you first start out, your trust rank is most likely to be really low or at zero. Now, in the trust rank page, there are multiple places here. The first one is your trust rank, which is located up here how much left you have to increase your trust rank, the layout that you are in, the adeptal energy, which I'll talk about later, and the companions that you have. Currently, I only have Paimon in mind, so I don't really need any friendship XP there. Again, like I said, all my farming for friendship XP is found in a different layout. You might think at first, okay, what's so important about raising your trust rank, and what can you do after raising your trust rank? Well, you can actually get various rewards such as Primo Gems, Furnishings, and also access to other goods like Transient Resin, or also XP books, Mora, and Enhancement Materials. I will show you that in a second. The maximum trust rank is 10, and through each trust rank, you do gain a few things. You get 60 primo gems once you increase your trust rank, and you also get access to different exteriors, and also the maximum realm currency that you can hold will increase. Your realm currency will be found in this little pot right here. For me, I'm at max storage for the realm currency, so over time, I can come and collect it. You want to try and go to your teapot every two or three days if you are at max realm currency, so that you can claim these riches and use them in the little store. The adeptal energy changes based on how many furnishings you have in your area. Each furnishing and each companion have a certain level of adeptal energy, like you'll see some have 50, some have 100, etc, etc, and those will all total up and decide how much realm currency that you make. So now it is time for the main part, which is how I'm able to increase my trust rank the fastest. The first few days in your teapot might be a little bit difficult because it is going to require you to wait a lot. What you want to do is wait for the realm currency to increase slowly over time. Then you can head over to the realm depot, which is located right here under create furnishing and switch realm style. As you can see, we have realm treasures, furnishings, blueprints, riches, and creatures. You want to head over to furnishing blueprints, scroll down to find a four star blueprint. If you're wondering what these are, these are sets for blueprints and these are not the ones we're looking for and we want to get the ones that look like actual furnishings. For example, this one right here, which is the estate courtyard wall, stone guard. If you have saved up enough realm currency, you can go ahead and purchase it and then head over to your furnishings and purchase one vial of adeptal speed and then go back and go to create furnishing right here as you can see the furnishing that you just bought is located right here and says yet to be learned so make sure you go ahead and click learn as you can see here these are all the furnishing blueprints that I have already known how to make so I'm just going to scroll down and find the one I just purchased 
I found it right here. Now the important thing to know is this little teapot symbol which you'll find for a new furnishing. What this means is that you haven't yet crafted the furnishing before, so it's brand new. The goal is to find all the furnishings that you haven't yet crafted before and that are super brand new and buy them. The reason why I chose a 4 star furnishing is because it has the highest amount of trust rank once you create it for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. To create these furnishings, it requires you to have a few materials like this one, requires maple wood and white iron ore. Then click over to creation queue. If you are still at a low trust rank, you wouldn't have all of these options open, but you go ahead to the first one you have and now it says to get the furnishing now. If you want to speed up the process, you will click get now. And then now if you click back to furnishing schematics, you will see that the teapot symbol is no longer there. It's time to repeat this process over and over again until you have reached your desired trust rank. Now, just so you know, once you reach higher trust ranks, you will gain more places in the furnishing queue, so you'll be able to create a lot faster and do this more efficiently. As soon as you have created your item, you can click away from the teapot menu and you can now edit the furnishings in the layout. I'm going to head over to an empty island which is right here and I'm going to place the furnishing that I had just created. So click the furnishing and drag it to the place you want it to be, most likely an island far off. Just so you know that the first realm that you choose is most likely going to be your forming realm. So don't worry about the looks of it because you can always change the realm later. I'm going to place it down and if you look in the corner, the total adeptal energy that is in this specific part of the realm is 90. Once you click save and then close out of it, you will notice that the adeptal energy in the total realm has increased. As you can see, it is right here. Like I mentioned before, the higher your adeptal energy is, the more realm currency that you're going to make. That means you can gain all your coins a lot faster. So always remember to place the furnishing down as soon as you get it because that will help up with the process of gaining these Adepto coins. I can now collect mine and then they total up to here. Like I said before, you want to pick the 4 stars first. Now you may not like all 4 star furnishings and that is okay because eventually you will have enough to purchase every single furnishing blueprint and it won't really matter. So mainly focus on farming your trust rank rather than decorating your teapot because I found that having a higher trust rank really helps with decoration and having a higher adeptal energy level is much better to gain currency so I can buy the furnishings that I want. So make sure you purchase all your four stars first and then craft them and then once all four stars are sold out then you can use the three stars. If you do not want to get a vial of adeptal speed you don't have to and you can just wait overnight for the furnishing to craft. So if you're going somewhere doing something for the whole day you can just leave it. This is just like an expedition. There's no need to be playing while it's crafting. One last thing I will like to note is make sure you visit your teapot frequently because you never know when all your coins are going to be full and you also don't know when your companion XP, which is found right here, will be full too. So try not to abandon your teapot and leave it for too long of time because you never know there might be coins cooking up in there and you want to use them because trust rank really helps, especially if you're farming primo gems. I found that super helpful. So don't underestimate your teapot and I hope you have fun while farming. All right, that will be it for this episode of Teapot Tales. The reason why I wanted to make this sort of tips video in Teapot Tales because it is all about the teapot and for those who want to know the secrets and the tips and ideas for your teapot, then Teapot Tales is the best series for that. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you again for 13,000 subscribers. I am so happy and I really, really want to thank you all so much. So for now, have a wonderful day. Good luck on your rolls if you're pulling for any of the 2.4 characters coming out in the future. Good luck on that too.